on everybody the hair here here to talk about the match that just happened the fiend versus randy orton at wrestlemania 37 this is a fallout this is my thoughts not now real quick disclaimer not what everybody else thinks just the harris thoughts my thoughts what i thought happened what i thought should have happened and um overall just thoughts of the match so without further ado we'll get into it so uh basically randy orton comes out um alexa bliss comes out and then the Fiend's music hits, and then you see a little um, a video of the Fiend transforming from the, I guess you could say the new Fiend, the burned Fiend, quote unquote, transforming to back to the old Fiend, uh, which was awesome because I shit on the old on the new Fiend a lot. The wardrobe was horrible, mask looked pretty cool, but whatever. So he he for, he morphed back. Um, I thought that was awesome. Then the whole um, Jack in the Box thing that Alexa was doing to bring the fiend back had the the pentagram on it look demonic look crazy look awesome fiend rose out of the box looked incredible the entrance was awesome he flew from the box clothesline around Orton. everything all systems go great comeback story we've been waiting for the fiend to wrestle for I believe it's been five four or five months right now this is his final comeback his comeback story lost to Randy Orton devastating fashion got burned to a crisp um, at uh, at the last event or you know a few months ago so this was his comeback arc his comeback story everything was set up for the revenge he lost to randy orton at a previous wrestlemania when he was still cult leader bray wyatt he was trying to write this wrong this time or randy orton burned him to a crisp everything's back back this is supposed to be the fiends thing full circle well it happens fiends doing good he's no selling everything that randy orton is doing for the most part then you think the end is almost near. Uh, Randy Warren gets set up for Sister Abigail, about to do the, his move. All of a sudden, Bliss comes out and she's bleeding black from her face. So from her eyes, from her head, it looked like it's some pump action was going on from her whole face. That distracted the fiend. The fiend wrote he he reached his hand out, turned around. Randy Warren RKO'd him. Remember, he was just no selling everything. One RKO one two three match over randy orton not the fiend who just had a five month layoff or whatever had a resurrection had the burnt fiend now is back to the normal fiend amazing wrestlemania entrance correcting the right correcting the right that was wrong nope all bad the randy orton pins him randy orton beats him the fiend loses again even as the revamped demonic new slash old slash resurrected fiend loses again at the grandest stage of them all wrestlemania um can't write this can't uh, can't make this stuff up folks they did make it up the writers but man i as a as a fiend fan i uh, i'm trying to see it i'm trying not to overreact at first i did and i'm trying not to overreact um i've seen a lot of um a lot of arcs that this can go just possible rumors possible spoilers of um so they're saying that almost like an undertaker urn thing so alexa bliss might be possessed by sister abigail that's holding the fiend's power so he reached out kind of like under the undertaker with the urn thing back in the day and supposedly maybe that made him weak so then one rko did was enough to beat him which again i'm just trying to go with it but it, it wasn't executed well at all um, so the Fiend loses again at WrestleMania 37. Uh, it was, to me, even if you're building for the story, you might do a Bliss versus Bray Wyatt slash Fiend thing, or you might do a Sister Abigail versus the Fiend type thing. Um, you're building towards something like that. It's just crazy. Uh, not sure. So again, they're going to do some kind of arc where it's like I said, Bliss versus Bray Wyatt or the Fiend versus Sister Abigail. She's possessed by him maybe. He's going to try to save Bliss. I, I'm not exactly 100% sure how they're going to do it. Um, but again, it's very frustrating to see The Fiend take yet another loss at a huge marquee event, the event at WrestleMania. Um, again, the different routes they could take. Obviously, Orton owns The Fiend. He owns Bray Wyatt. He beats him all the time. So, not quite sure. Not quite sure. Um, like I said, there's a couple different routes they can take. Um... If they want to do that, they want to stretch this all the way out to Money in the Bank, I guess. But the next pay-per-view is called WrestleMania Backlash. It's actually called that now, WrestleMania Backlash. 
I'm guessing they'll fight again, or he'll just forget Randy Orton and go against Bliss, Bliss slash um, Sister Abigail. And I guess she's in control now, and uh, the, the Fiend looks weak yet again. If it was up to me, it would have just been a, a Fiend squash squash match, or you could have done a Firefly Funhouse match. You could have added way more theatrics. Um, but to have the, you could have done other stuff too. You could have had the Fiend beat Randy Orton. And then maybe Bliss turn on him afterwards when he's like, you know, doing his stuff. Maybe he, uh, or I don't know, she has somebody else attack him or she strikes lightning on him. Something because she's already supernatural and, um, according to what they've been doing. Do something like that to where it doesn't hurt the feed because it doesn't, doesn't take a loss. They could forget about the Randy Orton feud, put that feud to rest finally, and then focus on an Abigail versus uh, the Fiend type thing where she could, like I said, drop a bolt on him, drop the fucking lights on him, drop something on him. Um, because having him lose again was very, a very bad decision. And um, it is what it is. Uh, they already chose to do that. Again, I don't think it was the right choice. I'm still going to watch. I still want to see what they do from this. But um, right off the bat, I think it was a bad choice to make him lose again. You could have done way more. You could have had him beat him and then have the, the heel turn afterwards with Bliss. Like I said, drop shit on him have a uh, people attack him just have you could still have her turn heel with the fiend winning and finally burying this feud that's been going on forever again if they're gonna extend this feud have bliss team up with orton again i hope they do something cool in raw I hope they do something cool at the next pay-per-view but the fiend's just taking losses he's just piling up losses i don't like it personally um Again, I think what they're probably going to do is have, like I said, say Bliss is um, possessed by Sister Abigail, the spirit of her. She's trying to get back at the Fiend, or she's trying to, she's in control, she's the powerful one. Maybe applying dominance. Um, again, overall bad decision to have the Fiend lose again, at, and then at WrestleMania. Um, just not good, not good. Hopefully they can correct this wrong again but again this is making me feel like hell in a cell all over again um even that inferno match with randy orton you literally quote unquote burned slash buried him right there too you rko'd him through through the fire on him randy orton beat him so fiends racking up losses um again hope they fix it if not i don't know i have no idea i don't think they're going to kill the fiend character um but having him take loss losses like that doesn't look good for the for such a supernatural strong character uh, a lot of inconsistencies going on i get it it's hard to book him but i just named a few possibilities right there and that didn't seem that difficult so we'll see we'll see looking forward to see what happens but that was definitely a letdown to have him the whole resurrection the comeback wrestlemania and then he loses from one rko the supernatural guy loses from one rko i don't know i don't know i don't buy it but We'll see. Still a fan. The hair out.